this is the main screen of the jerry incubator these are the six chambers this is for one this is for chamber two this is for chamber three this is for chamber four this is for chamber five and this is for chamber six on the right hand side we can see there is a time and date add patients time date and time and this is a alarm key if any alarms are there we can see here now for adding a patient we this is add patients start with name patient id then to select the cycle type age egg we can adjust this egg age with this keys if you want to use eva software then we have to click here and then save now we will go back and this is a customized setting screen here we are saying the graph for the temperature for each chamber and co2 level for each chamber humidity level for each chamber and last one is for the events for the lead open of the chamber second one is settings for each chamber here it shows temperature co2 humidity on and off switch and chamber on and off switch if we are not going to use any of the chamber we can off that chamber here is the camera setting here is z stack span mention here mention is 11 z stack span 11 means it takes 11 images at a time this is the distance to take the images for the oocytes or embryos now it's 15 micron and we can change as per our requirement here is the cycle types mention which is already there if we want to add new one we can do it like this if we select any of the already created cycle type this screen shows the server address of the jerry server date and time adjustment this screen shows the information about the instrument name then we want download the logs then we can use this key export diagnosis report and this is the serial number of the instrument this screen shows we uh, languages here we can select language as we want on co2 adjustment screen here we have to select the chamber and for that chamber whatever is the co2 level it showing for calibration purpose also we can use this screen this is chamber number 6 here we are going to assign the created patient for chamber number 6 if we want to edit anything we can press this edit key and edit that now we loaded the created patient for the chamber number 6 here we are able to see the patient details now here we are adjusting the wells for the camera with position number 1 once we adjust we have to press save key and move head 
for the well number 5. If no modifications we can move ahead with well number 9 and well number 13 respectively. Here we are adjusting the wells along with the camera. If it is outside the range then we can adjust like this right left up down with these given keys then save it this is for the closer view and the long view this is for the dark field selection once we did that we are going to start for the empty well detection Once we select the development hours, we start empty well detection. It's showing a message, empty well detection in progress, please wait. In well number 1, we are seeing the oocyte, so it's selected. Well number 2, there is no oocyte, so it's not selected. Similar way, for well number 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, it shows no empty wells. Once we finalize that, we can start recording. We confirm the empty well selection and start recording. Now here we are seeing it's recording it started. Even on chamber number 6, we are seeing the patient details.